On a beautiful sunny day, Deidre, Charlotte, and Heather arrive at a desert retreat belonging to Heather's father. Excitement fills the air as they discuss the anticipated meteor shower scheduled for later that night, set to be a once-in-a-lifetime event. Deidre, who is particularly social media savvy, she takes this opportunity to start a live stream for her followers, introducing her spiritually inclined friend Heather and her more reserved friend Charlotte. As the day progresses, the friends relax by the pool. Deidre shares how she had to take time off from her job at a pet store to spend these few days with her friends, highlighting how much she needed a break. Meanwhile, Deidre engages in swiping on her dating app in hopes of finding a companion for the weekend, but realizes the limited options available in their remote location. As evening falls and the meteor shower begins, Deidre finds herself frustrated by the lack of signal and her inability to live stream the event. While Heather and Charlotte marvel at the celestial display, Deidre complains about her inability to share it with her followers. As the night progresses, the friends gather by the pool, reminiscing about their childhood memories. Heather and Charlotte tease Deidre about her past mischievous behavior. Suddenly, the peaceful atmosphere is shattered as a mysterious object falls into the pool, causing the women to startle. They immediately notice that the object is releasing a dark liquid into the water, prompting Heather to panic and insist on removing it from the pool. Curiosity and concern mix as the friends speculate if the object is a meteor, but the unpleasant smell and shape of the object raises doubts. Deidre suggests it may be frozen sewage dropped from an airplane, recounting stories of people harmed by similar occurrences. However, Charlotte disagrees when she sees a face underneath the black shell, suggesting it could be an animal. Deidre attempts to capture pictures of the object, hoping to use her phone's signal for stunning views, but is hindered by the lack of signal. Driven by curiosity, the brunette searches through an encyclopedia in the hopes of finding a picture resembling the mysterious creature. To her surprise, she realizes that the creature does not match any known animal. In an effort to calm her nerves, Deidre suggests that Heather take a shot of alcohol. Heather expresses her urgency to dispose of the object, and while checking her phone, discovers that its screen is malfunctioning. Charlotte proposes burying the object under a tree, but Heather insists on getting rid of it entirely. Finally, the influencer guides Heather to the bedroom to rest, cautioning her to keep her distance from the mysterious creature in case it poses any health risks. Before retiring for the night, it takes one last glance at the object beside the pool. The next morning, Heather apologizes for her behavior the previous night, acknowledging that her worry stems from the fact that it is her father's house. During breakfast, Deidre's phone rings, but it abruptly stops working. Concerned, Dudger and Heather urge Charlotte to retrieve her phone from the bedroom to test its functionality. Initially, the older model phone seems to be working, but quickly malfunctions just like the others. Deidre theorizes that the meteor shower may have caused a magnetic storm, disrupting all radio signals in the area. Frustrated, she begins to worry about her followers and the impact of her absence from social media. Her friends assure her that being without internet access for 24 hours is not a significant problem. But Deidre argues that for influencers like herself, it feels like an eternity. In a nonchalant manner, the brunette reminds her friends about the mysterious object from the previous night, adding an underlying sense of intrigue to their day. When they go to investigate, they discover that the creature is gone, leaving behind a trail of dark liquid as if it had crawled away. Before following the trail, Deidre grabs a Native American war club from inside the house for protection. Eventually, they locate the creature sprawled out in the yard, and Charlotte wonders why it no longer has a shell. Heather notices that the unpleasant smell has intensified. Before the influencer can nudge it with the club, Brett, the hired groundskeeper, startles the women by introducing himself. Moments later, Deidre convinces Heather to ask the team for help in getting rid of the creature. However, Brett clarifies that he is only there to assist and not to attend to the plants. He suggests that they call someone else to handle the situation. The women explain that their phones are not working, but assure him that they will pay for his services. While negotiating the payment, they offer him $150 and a download link to the photos they will take later. Skeptical of their claims to be models, Brett walks away, 
causing them to inquire about any other form of compensation he might desire. He turns back around and tells them there is one thing they can assist him with. Reluctantly, Charlotte agrees. The women propose paying him in exchange for his help in removing the creature. After sealing the deal with a kiss, Brett heads to the yard to fulfill his end of the agreement. During his absence, the women gather their money to cover the dollar 150, with Heather having to pay for the brunette's share. Meanwhile, the teen uses a shovel to carefully maneuver and transfer the unusually heavy creature onto a tarp. He struggles visibly under the weight. Finally, he delivers a swift kick to the side of the animal. To his surprise, the creature emits a spine-chilling screech which startles the teen, causing him to flee from the property. As Brett sprints away in fear, the women witness the creature's distressing cries. In the yard, they find the creature writhing and wriggling in apparent agony. Deidre proposes putting it out of its misery, but Charlotte, driven by empathy, argues against acting impulsively since they're not certain if it's truly dying. Unable to come to a decision, they agree to move the creature to a shaded area and provide it with a bowl of water. Even with all three of them working together, it takes all of their strength to drag it a few feet. As they re-enter the house, they are startled to see the mysterious creature sitting upright, staring at them. Several minutes later, the friends proceed with their photo shoot for Dedra's makeup brand. While Charlotte enjoys dipping her feet in the pool, she watches her two friends giggling and sipping margaritas on the lounge chairs. That night, the brunette is awakened by the creature's piercing cries from outside. Concerned, she goes to check on it and finds the animal wailing incessantly. She wakes Heather to inform her of the situation, but her annoyed friend simply tells her to go back to sleep. Feeling sorry for the creature, Charlotte brings it inside the house, realizing that it has become significantly lighter. She then grabs Deidre's protein shake from the fridge and feeds it to the animal. The next morning, as the influencer opens the fridge to retrieve her drink, she hears cries coming from the living room. She discovers the creature wrapped in a towel with her empty protein shake bottle nearby. Fuming with anger, she wakes her friends to scold them for bringing the animal inside the house. In the living room, Heather orders Charlotte to remove it from the premises. However, when she tries to move it, the creature shrieks loudly. Annoyed, Dadra insists that Charlotte find a way to go into town, locate an animal expert, and fix their phones. She declares that she is going back to bed and expects the creature to be gone when she wakes up. Heather suggests that she and Charlotte use her father's buggy to visit Edna, their nearest neighbor, to see if they can get a ride to town. While the two friends are absent, the social media influencer is unable to find any moment of rest due to the relentless crying of the creature. Consequently, she decides to get out of bed and concoct a poisonous drink with the intention of feeding it to the animal. However, as she approaches the creature, its milky white eyes captivate her, leading her to drop the glass. Meanwhile, at Edna's house, none of their knocks elicit a response, but they discover that the door is unlocked. They enter the house and notice telescopes and radios scattered about. Heather tries the landline phone but informs Charlotte that it is also not functioning. Charlotte decides to write a note for Edna to find upon her return. As they explore the house, Charlotte discovers the neighbor's journal and wonders why the day of the meteor shower is highlighted. However, Heather suggests that it may simply be Edna's birthday. Upon returning to their own house, they relay the events that transpired at Edna's to the influencer. Surprisingly, their friend reacts nonchalantly, which is a stark contrast to her demeanor in the morning. Shortly thereafter, inside the house, Charlotte soothes an overwhelmed Heather by offering to cook lunch and clean up. Heather still feels guilty about bringing the creature into the living room. Meanwhile, Deidre lies on a floaty in the pool, wearing a disconcerting expression on her face. During lunch, the influencer hastily devours her pasta, leaving her friends confused. After finishing her meal, she invites them to join her for a workout, but Heather declines, citing excessive sunlight as the reason. Later, Heather observes her friend tirelessly exercising in the yard and becomes concerned that she might be experiencing a mental breakdown. As night falls, Deidre continues to exercise in the yard. Heather wakes up in the middle of the night upon hearing a pulsating sound emanating from the living room. She cautiously approaches to investigate only to be horrified by the sight of the influencer writhing within a red, fleshy mass that appears to be connected to the creature. Before she can scream, 
the creature hypnotizes her. Heather then proceeds to remove her own clothes and join her friend inside the fleshy mass under the influence of the creature. While entranced, she envisions a vast cosmic expanse and a vessel traversing through space. She witnesses her friend intertwining with an indiscernible entity and, moments later, takes Deidre's hand as their bodies become enveloped by red tendrils. The next morning, Charlotte checks her phone, only to find that it still does not work. She searches the living room and discovers that the creature is no longer present. Curious about her friend's sudden shift in attitude towards the creature, she returns to the house. Upon opening the bedroom door, she finds the creature propped up by pillows. Moments later, she rejoins her friends by the pool and questions why they are not in a hurry to return to town, especially considering they all have work obligations the next day. When neither of them shows any willingness to help her find a way back, Charlotte declares that she will take the buggy to Edmonds. She visits Edna's house to check if the keys are in the pickup truck. Outside the cabin, she searches the truck, but the keys are nowhere to be found. Charlotte knocks on the door and, receiving no response, enters the cabin. She rummages through the shelves and drawers in search of the keys. Moments later, she discovers a stack of papers on Edna's table, covered in formulas and coordinates. Among them, there is a drawing of the creature. Suddenly, she notices a beam of sunlight coming through a small hole on the cabin's wall. She heads outside and walks to the side of the house, where she finds Edna's lifeless body, apparently having taken her own life with a gun. In the midst of all this, Deidre enters the pool at the rest house and immediately starts screaming. Meanwhile, Heather is busy in the kitchen, consuming raw eggs. When Charlotte returns to the house, she delivers the devastating news that Edna has taken her own life. She also mentions that she came across a drawing of the creature in Edna's notes. However, Charlotte is perplexed by the unemotional reactions of her companions upon hearing about Edna's demise. They inform her that they have decided to wait for the phone signals to return before attempting to call for help. Determined, Charlotte heads to the bedroom to confront the creature and uncover its true nature. Suddenly, the creature hypnotizes her, just like it did with the others. Its red, fleshy mass and tendrils emerge from its abdomen, inching towards Charlotte. However, she manages to break free from the hypnosis just as the appendages make contact, allowing her to escape the bedroom. Charlotte rushes back to the pool to inform the others that they urgently need to call for help, preferably the police. She believes that the creature is an alien. Surprisingly, instead of expressing alarm or panic, Deidre suggests contacting a lawyer to exploit their unique discovery for financial gain. Heather agrees, proposing that they divide any shares and dividends amongst themselves. However, Charlotte insists that the creature poses a danger, highlighting how Edna must have been aware of this before taking her own life. This angers the influencer, who blames Charlotte for ruining their plans despite the incredible opportunity they have. Suddenly, the argument is interrupted by Heather pointing out that both Deidre and herself are experiencing rapid abdominal swelling. Fear and confusion consume them, they direct their blame towards Charlotte, claiming she brought the creature into the house. Within moments, black liquid starts to seep from their eyes and mouths, causing them excruciating pain. Writhing on the ground, they plead with their friend for help. Convinced that killing the creature is the only way to save her friends, Charlotte resolves to eliminate it. She heads back to the bedroom with a war club. To her surprise, her controlled friends join her in the bedroom with Diadra forcefully knocking herself unconscious by slamming her head against the wall. Minutes later, she regains consciousness and demands an explanation from the creature for its actions. The creature proceeds to reveal its kind's plan of impregnating human females with their offspring, aiming to conquer the planet. Fueled by determination to stop this invasion, Charlotte mercilessly bashes the creature to a pulp with the war club. She then takes a buggy and embarks on a mission to locate the other women. Eventually, she spots Heather stumbling along a dirt road and deliberately runs her over, ending her suffering. Returning to the buggy, Charlotte realizes it has run out of fuel. She takes the war club and continues her pursuit of Deidre on foot. Finally catching up to her friend, Deidre turns around and attacks her. In the midst of this struggle, a man in a pickup truck notices the commotion from a distance. Charlotte manages to knock Deidre to the ground with the war club. However, as she prepares to deliver the final blow, the man shoots her, 
mistakenly believing she is about to harm an innocent woman. The man then carries Deidre to his truck with the intention of taking her to the hospital. Minutes later, Charlotte regains consciousness and realizes she has been shot in the shoulder. Seeing the truck in the distance, Charlotte gathers her strength and retrieves the war club. Slowly and cautiously, she approaches the vehicle and discovers the lifeless body of the man beside the open door. Inside the truck, she finds the man's rifle and takes it. She then moves to the rear of the truck where she finds Deidre in a grotesque state, her body partially transformed by the alien's offspring stirring within her abdomen. Charlotte, with a heavy heart, aims the rifle at her suffering friend, apologizes, and pulls the trigger to end her agony. Just as Charlotte thought her nightmare was finally coming to an end, she witnesses hundreds of meteor-like objects hurtling towards Earth. As we wrap up our journey through the enigmatic film Seed on Box Office Studio, we hope you enjoyed this deep dive into its suspenseful story. If you found our recap intriguing, remember to subscribe to our channel for more exciting movie analyses. Thank you for joining us today, and stay tuned for more thrilling recaps and insights on Box Office Studio.